everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a few different things um we're gonna do a very small cash condensing ready to do hopefully tomorrow my cash stuff in for the first of uh the first week of june uh we've got some happy mail to look at i was gonna save it for the cash stuffing video but i decided i might as well pop it into this video um, and then we'll also do like a recap of how much we managed to save, how much money we've got in our binders um, throughout May. So I'm also, I'm going to do the penny savings challenge because this money has been sitting here for like the longest time and I haven't done it. And I was saving it for doing um, a TikTok video and stuff, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it done. And I think going forward, what I might do is get all of my change out, get the money from Steve, um, if you're new here, he matches everything that I put into the penny savings challenge. So I think I'll just get all the money here and we'll just add it on to the video, I think. Otherwise, it's just going to keep sitting there and it's just annoying me. Um, so let's do that one first. So and then obviously from like tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to record um, my cash stuff in video. So from then onwards, we'll be able to take out change. Although saying that, I don't think I really have much change. Um, so I was co colour coordinating it. See, I haven't even done it from May. So these were technically from May. So let's get a pen. Let's do this light purple. Hopefully it works. And I'm just going to double check, but it should be these three here so I believe I've got £10.60 so we've got 10 20 40 50 2 4 6 8 10 so we do have £10.60 so 10 60 minus £3.52 so we'll cross that one off Okay, that looks very similar to the other purple, but never mind. Probably is the same colour. Uh, minus £3.51. Uh, it leaves us £3.57. I thought... Oh, well, I don't know. Um, and then, so £3.50. So that leaves 7p. But I have got another 10, another 13p here. So that means uh, 20p. So we will cross off 20 over here, which is just about off shot. So yeah, we did the 20p, the £3.50, £3.51, £3.52. So that is that done at last and let's put that way a second and i'm just gonna have to reach over use some trackers out the way i really need to organize my desk oh i should have got the tin out first it's so heavy right so let's pop that in here I think this might be the first note I've put in actually. I changed it all up at work um, because we needed some change at work. So let's pop that back. Lovely. Okay, so penny savings challenge is done. Okay, next let's do our small condensing. So basically when I do my cash stuff in tomorrow, um, I've had my pay slip today. I'm just hoping that the uh, money either goes into my account today or tomorrow but i won't be withdrawing it until tomorrow because i can't be bothered to leave the house um but we've got some money going into hyperjar so basically what i'm going to do is um so car maintenance has already got 50 60 70 80 we've already got 80 pounds in there I've got obviously the £50 in Hyperjar and there is an odd £2 in there as well. So when I cash stuff, I'm going to be putting £18 in, which makes it to 100 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that 30 there. We'll pop the 50 placeholder back and see if we've got a 100 which we do. So we're going to pop that in there just to preempt it ready for tomorrow. 
and I am just going to write down um, yeah no I've already got that written down actually um, so that's that one and then Christmas we're going to be doing the same so Christmas already has 100 in the bank and then we've got 20, 40, 60, 70 20, 40, 50, 60, sorry. We've already got 60 pounds in there. So I'm actually gonna be cash stuff in 40 pounds tomorrow. So that will take it to 200. So we'll get rid of the 100 and get a 200, let's put that 100 back. So again, just preempt it ready for 200 tomorrow. Though that one's not actually in my hyper jar. Christmas is in my Stalin account. Um, that is everything that I'm going to be like putting back into the bank. So I'm just going to have a quick flick through, make sure that we've got. I'm sort of getting fed up with all the fives and tens that are sort of about, although they are handy. There's some categories that I just like to um, condense down just a little bit. How many 20s have we got? We've got three 20s. So I'm going to do, I think, that's 20. And then I'm going to do a 10 and some fives for another 20. Um, Yeah, I want to keep that five pounds in there because I'll spend that when we go up there next week. Which, yeah, we're going, me and my sister's coming down next uh thursday picking her up from the airport and then we will be going to see russell howard next thursday in brighton and then um we're going back up to scotland um and i'll be there for about a week so yeah that's exciting um is this the only one i want to change some money in i think yeah i haven't got enough to um do everything so I don't know we'll just do that one so 20 there and then it does gives me give me some denominations that I'll need for tomorrow I'm literally just going to get 20s out tomorrow <laughs> um let's just see if we've got any fives milling around we do in here so change those for a 10 and the reflection of the light was making it look like there was some 20s there um is there any fives in here yeah, so some more fives. Um, let's do these only turns. Right, let's just have a look if there's anything in the other binder. I don't think there is. Whoa. Um, I'm going to leave those fives in beauty because I will need those tens we could change those two fives for a ten i do like having the fives in the binders but there's some categories that i just i was just getting fed up with them um, all the fives but it's kind of good because i don't have to um withdraw five pound notes let's just have a little look in birthday binder um so Pam's got 20 that's 10 10 so we can change these fives for a 10 see how many fives we've got <laughs> there we go okay oh and I think what I'm also going to do is in my oh, pulled all of them out in my personal I am going to change, I've got um, £10 there, that's my last £10, so that's good. So I've still got my £11.60 left in personal, but very much doubt that I'm going to use that today. Um, because yeah, I'm not planning on going out. But that means I have actually got some change then for the cash stuff in tomorrow because we're going to be starting some new challenges. So let's get on to the next portion, if you like. So, yeah, I mentioned in, was it my last, um, my last video 
that I was expecting some happy happy mail. So the last video I got the knockout nine, um, and this turned up the day after I think, um, and obviously I have already opened it. Um, but yeah, I want to get it in. I want to get it in the envelopes. So this is from Jen at Budget and Dreams. And we have all the, all of her different challenges. I'm so excited that I've finally been able to get some challenges. So, yeah, let's let's open it, and I will show you what I've got. So, I just realised that I should have I should have probably done the um uh like check in first, but you know I'm too excited for this. So got a nice thank you card that says hi sean thank you so much for your order and for all of your support i hope you enjoy the challenges jen thank you so much and then a really cute little butterfly um if you haven't watched jen's videos before she loves butterflies so there's butterflies on everything there's actually butterflies on the on the front of the envelopes which i love they're so cute and she puts them all on her binders as well um so yes yeah, just a little thank you for your order and then you can color it in either just to have a bit of you time or a savings challenge so i'm definitely going to utilize that and i think maybe do like pounds or something or maybe even like just 10 peas or something you know um so i got three different challenges i got the roll it up the emoji and where is it the just roll it um get a free dice with it and i love pink so i don't know if she's only got pinks but i very much appreciate the pink dye because pink is my favorite color um and i didn't have one at the time that i ordered um but obviously i've now got the knockout knockout nine but it's it's smaller and it's so cute so yeah so i've got oh, got some dice now so that's brilliant so yeah so first of all we've got the just roll it um obviously roll the die and whichever you get you mark off so it saves a hundred pounds in total so it's really good like a little challenge because obviously the maximum you're going to be putting in is six unless you do it multiple times um but you know we'll see see what the budget allows so yeah super cute and i'm loving all these colors they're beautiful so that's the first one and move those out the way um oh yeah i also got this as well let me just there we go it says you are amazing always remember that cute little postcard love that i'm probably going to stick that up somewhere because yeah it's very gen <laughs> um yeah so i got yeah both of these both with um a wallet as well and like the artwork and yeah it's so beautiful um yeah i love them so yeah we got the two Two ones for each of the different challenges, so brilliant. Move those out of the way. And then, I haven't actually opened these, so I'm super excited to have a look at them. So, we've got the roll it, roll it up to 1,000. And so each page, I, ha I had to look back at her videos, I think, to try and um, work it out. I mean, I think it does, it does tell you here. Um, so this says, save... 250 sorry if i'm out of shot i've got a slightly different camera angle today um save 25 pounds roll a dice and save what you roll obviously pretty self-explanatory when you have 25 you roll it up so you cross off a 25 on the save 100 and then start rolling again for the next 25 so once you've um crossed off all of these ones you've saved 25 pounds so then you would cross off a 25 pounds here then you would go back to this one again and then save 25 pounds again cross off 25 you do that until you've crossed off all of those and then you've saved 100 so then you would cross off one of the hundreds and you just keep doing that until you've crossed off all the 25s all the 100s both of the 500s and then you've got a thousand so yeah that's super cool and i love the idea of it being really small so again you're probably you're only going to be saving up to six pounds each time but you just keep doing it and then you're going to save a thousand so i love that and i love that it's on this like little ring um super cute so yeah that's the roll it up and then we have the emoji challenge which 
is also super cute. Um, I do really love these colours. I love this pink, actually. Pink is my colour. So the emoji challenge. So save 50 peas. So colour in each of the nine there and then the little smiley face down there to save five pounds in 50 peas. Then you've got the same in one pounds. And then you've also got the same in two pounds. So you would save 20 pounds in the two pounds, 10 pounds in the one pound, one pounds, and then five pounds in the 50 peas. So yes, it, it's a bit on the back. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, I didn't know he was there. Um, but yeah, super cool challenge again. Um, I don't know if it's going to take me a while to do this because I don't feel like I have that much change each week. And obviously a lot of it does go towards my penny savings challenge. But even if I can just cross off one or two a week, that'd be brilliant. So yeah, so the emoji challenge there. Um, and also she was ever so kind to send me something else for free. Um, thank you so much, Jen. You, it's honestly so kind of you to, um, to have sent me something else for free. So, um, yeah, I entered her giveaway and I didn't win. Um, and because I didn't win, she just, she sent me this, um, she sent me her new challenge that she's made, um, for free. And yeah, just so, so kind of you to do that. Um, it's the Llama Chameleon. <laughs> Um, yeah, so cute. Let me see if I can get into it. Oh, there's too much stickiness going on. There we go. So, yeah, another another cute little note. This says, hi, Sean. I hope you enjoy Llama Chameleon. Jen. And that was on one of her butterflies again. So I've got another bu butterfly that I can use. And yeah, this is the Llama Chameleon. And it saves £150 in total. Each of the llamas is £5. And each of the chameleons is 15 I think she does also do a um, like a blank one. So you can decide how much they are. Uh, she did give me the option. And you can also have it hole punched as well. Um, but I like putting these in my wallets. So yeah. So thank you so much for sending this out off your own back. It's it. It's so nice that um, people do that and um, I've done it to people as well um, and it's just like just a little thank you and like I really really enjoy her videos and her positive affirmations and, and stuff like that and it's such a joy watching her videos so um, yeah I, I'm really happy that I could I had the money to be able to support her and then you know getting a little freebie is always super appreciated so yay thank you so much jen for all of those goodies i literally can't wait to start all of them i've already got them on my ipad um on my cheat sheet ready to be able to start stuffing them i'm not sure i'm going to be able to afford to start the llama chameleon though but i have got money aside for the just roll it the roll it up and and the knockout nine obviously that we started last week so that is the happy mail. I'm just going to move some of this package in because I need to get to my iPad. So let's have a look through now, going a bit backwards, um, and see what money we have in our binder, or in my binder, should I say. Um, and yeah, have a look to see how much we have saved this month. So fuel, I've got £10 in my um, purse still so I pop ten pounds down beauty oh I open in two wallets at once we've got 20 40 60 80 90 but all of that will be going next Tuesday because I'm getting my hair and my nails done but it's there for now so 90 pounds in there food shop is nothing Millie is 10 pounds in cash and I believe there's 20 pounds in hyper jar so it's 30 pounds altogether dining out we have 20 in there i'm trying to just save that up a little bit ready for scotland so we've got 20 pounds in there personal we had 11 pounds 60 cloves is just 10 pounds Entertainment, I believe, is 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Uh, 100. We've got 
two pounds in knockout nine and that is that binder all done so next is our long-term savings car insurance has 40 pounds Car maintenance now has a hundred pounds. We've just got the one hundred placeholder in there, which is brilliant because I want to try and save two hundred. Have two hundred pounds in there by Christmas. That was one of my twenty twenty three goals. So we're halfway there. As long as I don't have to spend any of it, we'll be all right. Christmas has two hundred. Leonard has. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 15, 20. So 120 in Leonard, which will definitely go down next week when we go out and do things. But that is what it's there for. Apparently the soft play now has a nice restaurant like type place attached to it next door now. So and it's very good apparently. So we will be going there for sure and swimming as well. So I'm super excited. Um, Steve has 20, 40, 50, 60. 60 pounds in Steve. Debt. We haven't really been putting much in here. We've I've just been taking a little break just because I worked so hard to get that credit card paid off. But we will start putting some money in there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to, we're going to take it steady for the minute. So we've got £50 in there. But yeah, like I am going to, I am going to be putting money in there probably every week from now on, even if it's just £10. But something is better than nothing. Um, seeing how I go with having um, some time off work to go to Scotland, I'm not sure what the situation is with like holiday pay and stuff like that. Um, but from next month, I think I will do that thing where I said sort of all of my tips will just go straight towards debt. Like just have a month where all of my tips go to debt um, just to, you know, knock off some more of that. So that would be good. But I am having to use some of my tip money towards my challenges. Um, but I am going to be using some of my personal money as well. So, yeah. Uh, one month ahead has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40. So 140 in one month ahead, which is brilliant. If I can get that to 400, then I'll be really pleased. Um, Because 400 is like how much my bills are every month. So it would mean that, yeah, I haven't got to worry, you know, and, and worry about like having some time off work or something like that. It's cool. So emergency fund has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's why I needed some more 20s in there. So 90 in emergency fund. Tech has got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to try and stuff that in increments of 30 just because the tracker is in 30s. I was going to, there was something, oh, I was going to put £5 in emergency fund this week. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Because I've only, the minimum I've got is 10. So I had a little jiggle around. Um, That's all of them. Obviously, I haven't got anything in the challenges. So the only one left now is birthdays. So we just need to count up all of the individual birthdays. So we've got 20 in there. I think someone's just starting gardening or something so i'm sorry if you can hear that so 20 30 30 40 50 and that is everything so we've got 50 pounds in birthdays okay and that is everything so let's have a little add up oh you can see from there that's good the lighting is on my side today. So we've got £10 in fuel, £90 in beauty, £30 in Millie, £20 in dining out, £11.60 in personal. We've got the £2 in the knockout nine. 
we've got £40 in car insurance, £100 in car maintenance, £200 in Christmas, £120 in Leonard, £60 in Steve, um, £50 in debt, £140 in one month ahead, £90 in emergency fund, £60 in tech, £10 in clothes, £100 in entertainment, and 50 in birthdays i am just going to double check that there isn't anything else we've got some odd bits in hyperjar um what have we got so i was right with 20 for millie oh there's another nine pounds in cloves so let's add nine pounds there for cloves i've also got three pounds in personal on there still and then we've got 336 in spare change so all together we have, oh my God, we have £1,198.96. That also doesn't include uh, my wedding fund binder. And obviously it doesn't include the penny savings challenge because I can't get to it. Um, but I'm just going to see if I can find the last currently saved. Um... Yeah, so the last time we did this video was on the 29th of April. So I'm just a few days, well, I'm nearly a week on it. Well, no, it's the 7th today, wow. Um, So, yeah, I'm like a week ahead. Um, But I haven't technically done my first week's cash stuffing for June. So that's fine, that, that works out okay. So, yeah, we... We've got 1,198.96. Last time, on the 29th of April, we had £896. There was obviously, I think the car insurance had gone out that month. Yeah, or it was, yeah, it was, I'd already paid for my car insurance. So that was like £500 that had gone out. Um, I'm just having a look to see if there was any other like big differences really we had a lot of money sitting in fuel last time and i'm barely having to put any money into fuel at the moment um yeah no oh, that's brilliant i can't believe it's you know just a few a p one pound and four pence off being one thousand two hundred pounds which is insane i can't believe i've managed to save that much money i've never in my life been able to save money just like full stop i might save a hundred pounds and then i see it there and i'm like i want to spend it right now i have all this money sitting here and i don't want to spend it i want to save it i want to save for christmas my car insurance next year you know having that money like the money for tech like knowing me i'm probably i'll probably end up buying a new phone or something and putting it on finance if there's a zero percent I wouldn't now put it if there's an interest but I'm saving money towards that um whereas I've never done that before um and obviously like paying off my debts and stuff I obviously always made the minimum payments but I never really paid any extra money into it so yeah I, it just blows my mind every time I do this and I'll probably say the same, ex the exact same next month when I do the same thing. But honestly, if you haven't started cash stuff in, please try it. Look through my videos, look at, there's loads of other great YouTubers that do cash stuffing and honestly, it does work. You don't have to do all of these different categories like I do and others do. You know, even just having a few for like your groceries and just trying to stick to that budget every week. Um, you know, saving money to be able to pay for your car insurance or whatever it is, um, like for the next year. It it just it really it really does work. So yeah, definitely um definitely give it a go if you haven't already. And things like the challenges and that, they just make it fun and they make you want to carry on doing it. And, and yeah, so with that being said, that is everything. That's the end of the video. So thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments, subscribes. It 
really means the world to me and I appreciate you all. So thank you so much. And yeah, I will hopefully see you tomorrow if the money gets transferred into my account. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then, guys. Bye. <laughs>